this was number six that would be halfway. You can't go halfway at number five. You've got to play number five and then that's halfway. No, it's not though, is it? Do your maths. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's one five, half. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. And you've just welcomed them back on to number five. You, you, you're a bit For the premature. second five. You're premature. No, I'm not. Five. There you go. That five. This is the fifth one. So after Ten, this, nine, you'll be welcome. Eight, seven, six. End of part right. one. Five, four, three, two, one. End of show. Right. You just explain it yourself that this isn't the first one of the next lot. This is the last one of the first lot. No, I haven't. I've just explained it exactly. Ten, no, you just nine, eight, seven, six. That's five. Stop. That's half. Stop. Yeah, we're stopping. We're welcoming them, welcoming them back now for number five. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. No. One, two, three, four, five. Why are you counting backwards? Because we're counting down from number ten. No. Okay. Yeah, all right. Brother, I'm oh, not no, sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, be sure, bro. We've seen five, and now we're going to see another five. This is part two. You've made my mind up for me. This is part two. Okay, good. Once upon a pud Christmas. You know 20... No, no, no. Look, wait, wait, wait. We've done four. We've done five. Four. No, we, this is we, five. No, we've done five. Let me count with you again. We did number no, ten. I'm not doing, we can't count. We did I'm... number nine. We did number eight. We did number seven, and we did number six. Five. All right. And there are five to go. Okay, all right. Okay, we go. No, you're right. You're right. I'm just counting wrongly. One week later. All right. So welcome everyone back. This is my first Christmas row. <laughs> good. Okay, good. Right, so here we are, Sainsbury's, once upon a put, in at number five. In a far, far away land, a feast was being planned. Crab thermidor crumpets. Delicious. Cider glazed gammon. Yes, yes, I love all that. You, what do you have? For dessert. I've never really liked Christmas pudding. <laughs> Bring me something different. Or else. Or else. Or else. Or else. That's my biscuit! That's Teenage Dirtbag. <laughs> like with Christmas bells. Yeah. What on earth? Treaty time! <laughs> to Christmas pudding! Uh -oh. Is that caramelised biscuit? Yes, Countess. Mm. That's a bit of me. <laughs> well done, Bob. And that's why you can taste the difference. Sainsbury's. Right. Good. I, let's just say, because I know you're thinking it, so let's get it out of the thing. They have absolutely nailed the racial uh, presentation. Like hundred percent, the black lady countess, the scrawny little white guy, surf. It's perfect. Really nails racial sentiment. I think in two thousand twenty-two. I wasn't thinking anything like that. No. Okay. Good. No. All right. Well, I saved no. you from thinking. Now you are thinking. What are you thinking now? No, not at all. No. I, th I thought it'd be full of. I thought it'd be full of C-listers, but actually, Alison was the only the only famous person in there. Okay. And she's she, Alison. She's, she's, she's from famous. Birmingham. Okay, she was good. Big brother, and she's been presenting for years. I was expecting yes. more, more C listers, but I mean, I think they were all extras, weren't they? I think so. I don't know. Years. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. I thought you might be thinking that. Anyway, that's cool. Um, that they're really pinning their stripes to the um, their flag to the the, the um, Christmas pudding with caramelized biscuit in it. 
Like that's it. That better be the seller. That better be the uh, little. People don't like Christmas pudding, so it's it's an alternative that looks like. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I don't eat Christmas pudding myself. Yeah, but that's that's literally the only product in it. I mean, they did a flyby of all the other stuff, but that was it. That's why you can taste the difference. Like I said, basically, Sainsbury's Gambit for an amazing Christmas is putting caramelized biscuit in the in the Christmas pudding. I mean, famously, I think nobody really enjoys a Christmas pudding. I don't know how you feel about Christmas pudding. No, I'm not a fan. No, I'm not a fan either. But then, you know, I think there's got to be horrible things at Christmas as well. I'm not a fan because I really don't like custard. Oh, I really do like custard. For me, that's oh, the best bit. I don't like fruit. That's my thing. I don't like the skin of custard. Oh, we'll just give it a stir and it won't have a skin on it. No, no, no. That doesn't actually get rid of it. It just breaks it up and it's still there. It's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. All skin is is ever so slightly drier custard. And when you mix it in with the rest of the custard and it becomes rehydrated. No, because you can taste it anymore. and it, uh, you've tasted the lumps then and it's not, then it's not wrong. So I'm, I'm not a custard fan at all. Okay. All right, good. Okay, good. If it's cold custard, like, you know, out of a... a f- foil container that's fine but when you yes. make it yourself heat up the milk and then it starts to get the skin on it that's disgusting okay good all right well i'm learning lots about you today shall we move on to number four we've got four remaining shall we see what's in fourth place sure ah, i think this is a little bit more traditionally christmas they've got the elf oh but that's that's not the guy is it yeah this is that a is- cgi it's really really very very good advert this one i see this a lot um, okay. They've just taken the whole movie and CGI'd him in, and, and it's brilliant. I mean, the, the licensing must be quite expensive. Yes. But okay, you'll good. enjoy this one. Okay, good. Shall we have a look? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You better watch out. Excuse me. Hi, can I help you? I'm Buddy the Elf. You must be here about the job. Nice um, costume. Oh, it's not a costume. I'm an elf. Okay, well, Sidman here will show you your own. What's this? Beautiful. What do you want for Christmas? Put in a good word with the big man. Oh, I lost a giant elf. First we'll make snow angels for two hours, and then we'll go ice skating, and then... Can Buddy please go back to the shop floor? He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good. Oh, actually, you're not supposed to eat those. Oh, OK. But I'm singing! I'm in a store and I'm singing! Let's get you on the checkouts. Was that you singing just then? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Oh, you better watch out. Better not cry. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. You did this. Well, you've got the job. You mean I can stay? Sure. Great job, everybody. Son of a nutcracker. Okay, good. Yeah. You're smiling. Because uh, it's a great film. It's it's one of the best, one of the best Christmas films out there. And it, I mean, he's just so so good at it. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Um, I don't think I have. It's incredible. Yeah. Beautiful story, and that's taken from the department. He gets a job in a department store, <laughs> and um, he decorates it. <laughs> <clears throat> he decorates it overnight, comes in the morning, and the boss is like, Who, did they send you for head office? Did, did, you know, what's going on? And, I mean, it's there. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Good. Okay, good. Well, I like the creativity. It's very Christmas, obviously. You know, if you're saying that's one of the greatest Christmas movies, maybe I'll watch it this Christmas. I think you should watch it while you go to bed tonight. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe I'll do that. All right, good. Okay, so we are into now the top three. Do you have any idea what's in the top three? You've mentioned these ones already, actually. Let's not play a guessing game. In at number three, we have John Lewis. So this is what John Lewis bastion, like, archetype of the Christmas ad. Let's see what they have to say. I 
I've seen this. Yeah. You've seen it. This is nice. This is I've seen it. It's 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 very product like. This is a story. Do you want me to give you a summary? No, let's watch it and then you can All explain right, it to it, us if it needs this explanation. Is, this is really quite, it's a tearjerker. This one. It's nice. It's is it? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm quite stricken to tears. Why is that middle-aged old man in a car park on his own trying to skateboard? You'll, it'll come, come together. It's a beautiful okay, story. Good. All right, let's go. Yeah, we can't wait. Oh, we got any peas? We're really excited. Merry Christmas. All the small things true care truth brings oh, you okay? I'll take yeah, I'm fine. Your ride Best trip always. I know you'll be at my show, watching, waiting. How did it go? Yeah, nailed it. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. You want to come in? Oh, it's cool. You're not as good as yours, I don't think. Oh, well, I just have a few stickers, that's all. I'm going to get some stickers for that. Oh, mate. Good, isn't it? Nothing to do with food or anything, but it's just a nice story. No? No. You didn't like that? No, I really didn't like it. Why? Well, it's not true, apart from anything else. Um, Why, not? Why not? Why not? People adopt kids all the time. Why? So he knows that she's into skating. He teaches himself skating, so he's got that familiarity with her. She gets dropped off. She sees he's a skater. She puts her in more at ease. What's wrong with that? That's a really beautiful story. Okay. Do right, so that experience of this, that. I was a foster carer. Um, so if she's in care, she's not being adopted. If the truth is, the cold, hard reality is, if you are her age, 12, 13, the likelihood of you being adopted is absolutely minuscule. Like, kids don't get adopted at that age. So the likelihood is that they're foster carers. It right. doesn't happen that you get three months to practice skateboarding before these kids come. They come in the middle of the night with a carrier bag of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I, I think I'm I'm not moved. I'm actually. All right. What's the, what's the what's the description say? The description says, okay, John Lewis didn't technically invent the Christmas ad genre, but it certainly perfected it with genre, genre classics like the Long Wait, which almost made me want to have a kid or excitable Edgar. I don't know anything about these things. A mini fantasy epic which made me want a toy dragon much more achievable. This year, the nation's most sensible department store has gone sombre. A stock figure hapless dad is learning how to skateboard, watching videos in his dull grey office or hitting the skate park after dark. How tragic a midlife crisis we're meant to think. But he's actually doing it to bond with a foster kid who arrives clutching her own skateboard. And it's not just empty sentiment. The ad comes with a commitment to supporting kids in care. Well played, John Lewis. I think absolutely categorically not. I think that's hideous. <laughs> I really think that is horrible, cynical, like literally. So, was, I, so I'm right, proving my experience. It was a foster kid. That's not how they arrive. You don't get weeks to practice skateboarding because you've got a foster kid arriving. Literally, they arrive in the middle of the night and um, with a bag of, like a small bag of stuff. And it's tragic. And I think it's extraordinarily cynical that John Lewis are, are, are leveraging that to sell whatever they want to sell, turkeys and Christmas cakes and whatever. Oh, I think disgusting. Okay. You challenged me, bro. You challenged me. That's no, no, I, I don't. I mean, I, I thought it was a beautiful story that he did that. But like you say, if it's not real, it's not real. It's nothing like real. So they haven't even done the research. 
I mean, how many how many social workers would they have to talk to to understand actually this is what it's like? Well, that's not that, and is it? They've sat, more... they've sat in a studio around some marketeers to come up with this advert. And like, yeah, it's brilliant, brilliant. And so people like me who don't know the system think it's a beautiful story. You yeah, have yeah. been there and seen it. You know the reality. You know it's biased, yeah. but... The reality is very different from that. And then I think leveraging that to sell a few... What do I want to say? Christmas? What are the Christmas mince pies? I think it's really cynical, horrible. Okay, good. Let's move on with our lives. Okay, Waitrose. There's a picture of a kid. Let's see. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look in the five and ten. Listen and once again. With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door Once more. <laughs> um, do you think this is anything? To, do you think this is a climate change, global warming thing? Did you see the wind whips his hat off and like, oh yeah, because of global warming? And the farmers are like, don't forget what's going on in in in. Um, Holland at the moment, where they're fucking you know, three thousand farmers have been shut down and moved off, so they can build this super city. It's like yes, this is a bit like, and then you've got the whole, the whole, um, you know, the family environment there. It's... Yeah, I'm not buying it. I mean, I was thinking they, you know, made a huge effort to go to all of these twelve different countries for these entirely different climates. Like, where is it? cold enough where are you i don't know that obviously wasn't one country i've never seen a wind blow like t twice in my life i've seen the wind blow like that in the uk do you know what i mean i've never seen a man's like... hat just like that it wasn't there wasn't even much of a cap on it to get the wind to i think there's a bit of string on it pull it off like that yes <laughs> um i don't know what that was i honestly don't know what that was and i don't like it <laughs> did, there was no carrots left. Was it carrot or was it a pig's blank, pig in blanket? He's crying. Yeah, they should was... have taken some holes, Yeah, the they? brat kid screaming because he didn't get a sausage. And then the little girl has to give up her sausage. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry. You you look after your Christmas. Do you know what I mean? He's like, no, yeah, I'll have it. I'll have that sausage. We don't know. that. I reckon that kid probably ate eight sausages before he got to that point. I think that kid ate everyone's sausages. <laughs> yeah, give me your sausage. Give me your sausage. I don't like that little kid. I don't like that ad. I don't know if it is about global warming or climate crisis. I don't know. Hold on, I'm just thinking about go. carrot. You know the carrot? You know Kevin? When he yes. was like shot into the snowman and he and it turned into a penis joke. Yes. <clears throat> we didn't discuss that, but it was like, that was a bit wrong, wasn't it? It was actually funny, I thought. Well, the penis joke? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I don't think we have to call it a penis joke. I think we can call it a knob gag. But you could do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's what they normally call it. Okay, we've only got one to go. We're going to have to reorder these in a second. Um, so be ready to do that, and we'll give you our actual ranking. I'm sure we've spent much more time um, considering this than um, the people at Time Out did. So I think we are far more qualified now, like completely up to date with the social references, everything. I think we're ready. Okay, so in number one position, according to Time Out, who I think are probably wrong, is Boots. The Boots Christmas advert 2022. Boots sell quite a lot of stuff, don't they? Let's see what they've done and then we can talk about it. Uh, it's shorter. All of the others have been exactly one minute and 30 seconds. This one's one minute and 11 seconds. So maybe short is good. Excuse me? What I want, you got, 
Hall and Oates. Always think of Christmas when the Hall and Oates comes on. Always. For me, that that nails Christmas. Why the gay son is a tranny? Why the gay son is a tranny? Well, he's just a gay son. It's just like, why, why a tranny? Yeah, why, why, That's why? Really. When, okay. <laughs> yeah, and why is this number one? That is the least creative, least. I mean, I'd love a pair of those glasses. I'd love a pair of those glasses, but... Why? So is that Why what people the... want? For, people want for Christmas perfume, glasses, and... I don't know, was it curling tongs or something? I don't know. They even pushed the, two, the three for two offer. They did, did they? No, I don't think they did. Oh. I was a little bit distracted. By what? Okay, so when you say tranny, should we say that again? Are you referring to somebody who's transitioning or... No, 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 no. no. Or Go a transvestite no, I'm or not. I'm a... Drag queen. A, drag, a drag queen. Why the drag queen? Crossdresser? No, look at it. Go back. Play it. <laughs> she looks at her son and then puts her glasses on and drag queen. And then for Christmas, she gets him a hair, hair dryer. Oh, Okay. All right, so number seven, glasses. Paul and Oates. Puts the glasses on the bus. Party on the bus. Christmas all of a sudden, because she can see. She's got Christmas tinted glasses. It's a great tune. Candle tinted glasses. Here we go. Okay, so he doesn't even, isn't really even presenting as... LGBTQ, however you're supposed to say that, I'm not sure. And now he becomes a drag queen because she's got her Christmas or transvestite or crossdresser. Is that two women? Is it that she puts the glasses on and then she knows what everyone wants for Christmas? Yeah. Boots bring joy for all this Christmas. And then she doesn't need the glasses on Christmas Day because she knows what everyone wants. Not number one for me. Not number one by a long shot. Right, so I'm going to get a piece of paper so we can actually sort this out properly, yeah? Mm. Are you ready? Right, I think... Um, well, I think... Um, Lewis, what are they called? I think John Lewis, 10th for me. I think that's a horribly cynical manipulation of the tragedy that is going on in childcare, I really do think that is hideous. I'm saying number ten. You're going to argue with that? Well, I liked it, but you know, yeah. Like, this okay. Is your, oh, you yeah. Okay. So I'm saying John Lewis in tenth. So which for you then is the worst? Oh, McDonald's for me is number nine. That was yeah, awful. Was good. You know what's missing here? 
What's missing? Iceland. Iceland, yeah. Mum's gone to Iceland. Have a look at Iceland for 2020, 2022. Okay, so ice, uh, YouTube. Iceland Christmas 2022. Uh, Christmas in Reykjavik. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Iceland said, market. Said, Christmas said, market. Said, Iceland said, Christmas said, ad 2022. Ah, Iceland's not yet uh, noddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Good, it should be in there. This should be in there. Yeah, it should be. It's crap! No, no, no! Not yet, Noddy! Don't you know the football's on? And have we got some treats for you? Exclusive luxury party food from just three pounds. Or get a hat trick of party favourites with any three for just five pounds. Pretty good spread, isn't it, Noddy? Discover the land of party in store and online at Iceland and the Food Warehouse. Okay, what do we that's think? That's a Christmas ad. That's a Christmas ad. That's that's the way Christmas ads used to look. Like they definitely used to look like that. Um, Is it because the rest of them have got stories and budgets behind them? I think. Well, apart from Aldi is here and Lidl is here. I think they haven't done anything. Like that's what Christmas ads used to look like: three for one, two for one, party food, naughty holder. You know, he did that really well in that signal single once, and then everyone's done it really badly since, and he's not doing it well since either. I think. Okay, good. I also think that Time Out maybe has a slightly more upmarket market than uh, Iceland. What do you think? Although Little and, but I suspect Little and Aldi have gone a little bit more upmarket more recently. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to go. I'm ranking these in terms of the worst. So McDonald's was worst. And then I think Once Upon a Pud, Sainsbury's I've got in eighth. Sainsbury's. I hope you're making your own lists. Asda was good. John Lewis is already bad. Waitrose. Oh, with the greedy kid wanting everyone's sausage. I'm going seventh. Waitrose. How's that the sentiment of Christmas? The brat kid wants the sausage. Boots, I'm going sixth, and that is my bottom five. In at five, I think. In at five, I think. Um, probably Tesco, the party broadcasts. Tesco, I think. Um, number four, Aldi. That made me laugh. Little, if they've, what have we still got? Waitrose is gone. Boots is gone. John Lewis is gone. Asda was really good. Asda, fourth. Sainsbury's is gone. I oh, know, I think Sainsbury's is in fourth. Sainsbury's. So my top three are, I think the best was, what well, I think the best was, I'm going to go, Tesco was better than Sainsbury's. I'm going to go Sainsbury's five, Tesco's four. Third, second, first is Aldi, Lidl, and m and I'm going to go m and third. I'm going to go... Um... <laughs> I'm Where's going Asda? Go m and third. Asda, yeah, what did Asda do? I'm going to go Lidl... I'm going to go little number one. If they've really created all this buzz around these products, that's amazing marketing. And I'm going to go Aldi two. You have to be impressed with the way I did that. So counting down and in 10th place, John Lewis, horribly cynical manipulation of the, the plight of uh, more than a hundred thousand children in the UK. That's uh, abysmal. Um, McDonald's got absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. Ah, Sainsbury's I had in number eight. I think Sainsbury's did better than that. Waitrose, so I've missed somebody off the list. Oh no, I'm so impressed with that. Tesco, M&S. 
Who have I missed off the list? No, I'm not. I'm not doing a list. I've just I just scroll down to number one, which for me is Asda and the Buddy the Elf. Oh, that's Asda. Yeah. Oh, so that's the one I missed out. So Tesco's number five. Um. Yeah, I think maybe I agree with you. Asda number. Well, it wasn't even very. I don't know. Asda is either in fourth or first for me. <laughs> that's what I think. Good. What's the lesson for anyone who's investing in their marketing? The, the lesson is I don't particularly enjoy all of this seasonal stuff. It seems like every 20 minutes there's another reason for people to go out and spend money. Don't particularly enjoy it, but Christmas obviously is Christmas. I hope these people spend as much time in church as they do in the supermarkets, buying stuff, like remembering the joy of Christmas, Jesus Christ our Savior, and all of those things. Um, the thing is, marketers got a market, you know, and at Christmas time, this is when the spotlight really is on these particular businesses, and I think they do it really well. I would prefer to see, um, we're going to talk about this on the news this week, um, but there's a piece out about brands that have lost their way. They're trying to be too purposeful. I think we've seen this here in the Boots advert. I think we saw it in the... In the um, um, we saw it in the um, biscuit advert, biscuit in the Christmas pudding advert. Too much purpose. I'd like to see more value in these things. You know, don't rely on having the right stereotypes in your ads. Just do a fantastic job. And in that sense, I think the best for me was probably Marks and Spencers because honestly, I was salivating looking at that food thinking, yeah, I would love to be enjoying all that food this Christmas and getting a bit drunk. What do you think? What's yeah, the learning? Yeah. What's the takeaway? I don't... You don't care? Just, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just sit around for an hour looking at ads. You're happy with that? Yeah, um, and, and you know, I just like the, the, the use of Buddy the Elf. Such a good movie. You need to watch it. That's what I'm learning, that you need to watch more TV. Okay. And I'm also learning that you can't count brilliantly either as well. So yeah, we've learned about it. each other. That's what we've done. Okay. And I feel like we've come slightly ever so quite slightly closer together this Christmas. When we do this next year, I will desperately find a piece of tinsel and put it up at my end so that, you know, there's some yeah. balance. Okay. Super cool. Then I think we are done. Is there anything you'd like to add? No. Thank you for having me. You are very welcome. Is there anything you said that you maybe shouldn't have said, do you think? Ah, uh, doorbell. Okay, I love you, man. Have a great Christmas. I'll catch you next year. <laughs>